Little Tiger's Big Surprise. Little Tiger was very happy being an only tiger. But when Mummy said there's going to be a new baby, you'll have a little brother or little sister, Little Tiger answered, but I don't want a new baby. I like things the way they are. Little Tiger thought that if he didn't mention a new baby, Mummy Tiger would change her mind. So he was very upset when one day she said, the new baby will be here soon. Little Tiger stamped his paw. I don't want a new baby, he shouted, and he ran off into the jungle to find his friends. Little Tiger went to visit Little Elephant, but to his dismay, Little Elephant didn't want to play. I'm teaching my baby brother how to squirt water, he trumpeted. The baby elephant wasn't very good at it. Instead of spreading a jet, sending a jet of water into the river, he kept dribbling it all over himself. Yucky, thought Little Tiger. I don't want a little brother if he dribbles. Little Tiger scampered on until he spotted Little Monkey. Come and play with me, he called. But Little Monkey didn't have any time to play. I'm teaching my baby brother how to eat, he explained. Little Tiger watched and soon both Little Monkey and the baby were covered in sticky banana. Oh, said Little Tiger to himself. Oh, I don't want a little brother if he eats like that. Little Tiger hurried on and soon he came across Little Bear. She was holding something over her shoulder. I'm burping our new baby, she told him. Little Tiger waited and suddenly the baby was sick all down Little Bear's back. Little Tiger's nose twitched in disgust. Hooey, he growled. I don't want a little brother if he does that. Just then Little Tiger spotted Little Parrot. But Little Parrot was far too busy to play with her friend. I've got some new babies, she said. They've just hatched and I'm looking after them while Mummy Parrot rests. Little Tiger peered into the nest. The babies were very ugly. Their beaks were too large and their feathers all crumpled. How nice, he said politely. But he didn't stop to admire them for long. I don't want a little brother if he looks like they do, he said, as he scurried on through the jungle. Suddenly, Little Tiger heard a loud snore. Who could it be? It was Little Rhino, fast asleep in the shade. Wake up, Little Rhino, it's the middle of the day, he shouted. Sleepily, Little Rhino opened her eyes. We've got a new baby, she kept yawning. Ooh. She cries a lot and keeps me awake at night. Little Tiger didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want to fall asleep in the lovely sunshine. If that's what babies do, then I don't want one, he thought sadly. Little Tiger wasn't very happy. Babies were even worse than he'd imagined. They took up everyone's time and they did horrible things. I'd much rather be an only tiger, he thought as he trotted home. On the way, he met Daddy Tiger, pacing the jungle floor. Why the sad face, asked Daddy Tiger. What's wrong? Babies are horrible, said Little Tiger. I don't want one. Sadly, he told Daddy Tiger about all the things he'd seen other babies do. When he finished, Daddy Tiger said, New babies do have some messy habits, but they soon grow out of them. You were a baby once, but you're not so bad now. It made Little Tiger laugh to think that he'd been a baby tiger too. It will be good fun having a new baby, said Daddy Tiger. You'll see. Little Tiger followed Daddy Tiger through the jungle. Back at the den, Mummy Tiger was very excited. The new baby has arrived, she whispered. Little Tiger crept inside the den and there, curled up in a bed of leaves, he found the baby tiger. Little Tiger stared. His baby brother wasn't at all what he expected. The new baby was just a tiny copy of himself. Suddenly, Little Tiger felt very pleased and proud. But Mummy and Daddy had another surprise for Little Tiger. How do you like your baby sister? asked Daddy Tiger. A sister? exclaimed Little Tiger. He looked at the baby again. Would she be fun? He'd have to wait and see. I do like my little sister, said Little Tiger. And then he added, but can I have a baby brother next time? 
the end.